Hey everyone, this is a Droidertude review on how to get Wi-Fi tethering working on your Samsung Vibrant. It's fairly easy to do. You just need to root your device. Check out our previous blog post on how to do that. And then uh, it takes a couple of steps. Um, before I do that, let me just show you that my, my laptop is connected to my home network. And if I go to speedtest.net, you'll see that I'm connected to Roadrunner. So let me just run this while we are configuring things. So that's going to run a quick speed test there to Las Vegas. So the first step is to install Barnacle Wi-Fi, which I have on this device. So launch the application, and you've got to set it up in a very specific way and, and see the blog post for instructions. But essentially, you're going to go into your settings, uh, change your SSID to whatever you want. In this case, I have Droiditude. Uh, you're going to go and select channel 6. You're going to check off uh, skip WPA um, mark there. You're going to leave these two alone and leave these two alone here. So essentially that's that's it. I tried to get the uh, the web work in here and I could not, so I've uh, left that open for now. If I figure it out, then I'll put another post together for that. So that's the first step. So once you've got this configured, this application is ready to go. And the second step is you have to configure either your Mac or PC to work with Barnacle. And to do that on a, on a PC, you unfortunately have to type in a little bit of code. So I'll show you how to do that. You're going to have to find your command.exe file, which is typically stored in your Windows uh, System32 directory. You're going to right-click and uh, right-click on the application, and there should be an option say that says "Run it as administrator." So you run that as administrator, and then you're going to type in the text that you see in the blog post below. So in this case, I have it copied into the clipboard, right click, paste, okay, enter. And it just configures your network card to support the Barnacle Wi-Fi system. So I'll exit that. And I don't need that anymore. <clears throat> then go back to the device and all you do is click start. So you can see that uh, you might get a couple of errors, but at the bottom, if you see running, then you should be fine. So I'll leave that here and click on actually here so you can see it better. And then I'm going to click on my wireless networks and I see Droiditude is now showing. So I'll click on connect. So now it's connecting to my device and I have uh, five bars and it says internet access. So if I go back to speedtest.net well, that's loading. I'll show you that on the device. You can see that my Samsung R580 is connected to my device, and I can start looking at the traffic here. So now on speedtest.net, you'll see that my uh, ISP provider is T-Mobile. And let's see how quick it is. So it's ping LA. So while that's pinging, you can actually see the device is tracking both the traffic up and the traffic down. Where I live, the connection is not so good, so I imagine I'll get about 600, 700k both ways. So it looks like that's about right. So, but you can see that it's wireless now, and here we go. This device is wireless. It's connected to the laptop. I had to do a couple things. One, configure Barnacle uh, with some very specific instructions, and then two, configure the PC. Uh, I have instructions for the Mac as well. I tried to get this connected to an iPad. I wasn't successful, so I'm going to continue to play with that. And if I figure that out, I'll also post that. And I'll also post later <clears throat> about battery life. I'm going to try and see how long the Wi-Fi actually works on a full charge before the machine conks out. That's it. Hope this was helpful.